Welcome to the Super Cheap Auto do-it-yourself tip for replacing brake pads. Before you raise the vehicle, you will need to remove some of the brake fluid from the master cylinder to allow for fluid to return to the master cylinder reservoir when you install the new brake pads. Using a siphon, remove enough fluid so that the reservoir level is well below the fill mark. Raise the vehicle to a comfortable working height. Then remove the wheel assembly. Check for any signs of fluid leaks or grease leakage from the hub seal. Check for any signs of a cracked or damaged rotor. Inspect the brake lines to see if there are any signs of leakage or deterioration of the flexible hoses. Loosen and remove the caliper location pins or bolts. Lift and rotate the caliper away from the rotor. Ensure that the caliper is not hanging unsupported. Secure and support the caliper by fastening a length of wire around it and attaching it to a suspension component. Remove the worn brake pads from the caliper by pulling them from their guide locations. It's good practice to lightly skim the rotors when new pads are to be installed. So you might want to arrange to have them machined. Carry out a run test with a dial gauge in addition to measuring rotor thickness with an outside micrometer. This will determine the amount of material to be skimmed. Mount the dial gauge fixture to a fixed point in relation to the rotor so that when the rotor is turned it shows how much run out vibration there is in the disc. Check the amount of run out against the manufacturer's specifications and report any excessive tolerances in your findings to the person who's going to do your machining. Check the locator pins, sleeves and insulators for any sign of wear or binding. With the sliding caliper type, ensure the caliper can slide freely on the runners. To fit new pads, you'll need to retract the caliper piston back into its housing. One of the most common methods is to fit a block of wood and a C or G clamp over the piston. Tighten the clamp to retract the piston back into the housing. As the piston moves back, it will displace brake fluid back into the master cylinder reservoir. Remove the block of wood and clamp after the piston has been retracted. Compare the new brake pads to the originals to confirm that they are the correct pads to install. The backing plates should be exactly the same shape. Install the new pads into the caliper. Slide the caliper assembly onto the rotor and align the mounting or locating pins. Refer to the manual for the correct procedure and specifications for installing the pins or bolts. Install the pins or bolts and secure them in place. Torque the bolts or retainers to the correct specifications. Using the correct procedure, bleed the brakes and refit the wheel assemblies. Now you know a bit more about how to do it yourself thanks to Super Cheap Auto. And remember, you're pretty sure to find everything you need for the job at your local Super Cheap Auto store.